Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is POCO X3 custom ROM reviews. Registered new version has been received as you can see it's a 10.1 version and its under version is 13 you can see here and it recognized as Karna as I always say my variant is Indian variant but other people will comment that is it applicable for Indian POCO X3 the Karna here it is it is Indian variant only and it's applicable for NFC also and for a flashing method you can watch my short video if you want lengthy video you can watch my previous videos and use the same firmware as I shown in the short video use the 13.0.4.0 only you can see here the kernel user is 4.14.392 lineage OS kernel has been used here this is the registered ROM and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 7 minutes and 10 seconds and 6 milliseconds. You can see the maximum is 193, average is 184 and minimum is 158 million JPS and it's throttle to 94% of its max performance which is good in my opinion and the UI is very very smooth as you can see. And there's a quick settings panel you get in the edit section you get lot more options. If you want you can drag them and add from here you can see and it is smooth guys as you can see it's very smooth all the toggles are also working fine the power button and settings button and here you get active status of any particular app and here is the automatic brightness toggle which is good in my opinion and this is the home screen you get all the widgets feature if you press and hold here you get widgets and even wallpapers and style and this is the home settings you get this is a launcher team and all the combination of this is known as sushi launcher and you can change here some of the customizations are available here regarding app drawer also you can see here and even home screen and if i go into wallpaper and style again you get these kind of wallpapers pre-installed here font you can change from here and wallpaper colors and basic colors again this is an android 13 feature which is applicable here and working fine and dark theme options are given themed icons it's not in beta here it's little bit upgraded i mean you can use other icons from uh, downloading from play store that's the option here app grid you get up to 16 to 10 is available good thing is the user interface wise here also it's not laggy as you can see it's quite fast enough when this is the typical app drawer you get and if i go into settings from here as you can see settings panel is also fast enough to operate here and if you go into like personalizations again you get a lot more customization like miscellaneous you will get unlock ifs count in games and unlimited photo storage and these things you want you can enable or detect product detection those things you can enable or disable from here and status bar again lot more customization available even you get a logo here you can position the logo left or right and style also you get lot more options here for example if i keep it to spider-man that's how it looks and quick settings again here also battery bar battery slider position battery present percent location style all those things have been included neatly and arranged properly here even the navigation as you can see the customizations are available in terms of notifications again there are customization available user interface again there are some options like ambient display charging information full screen apps has been given here if certain app is not playing in full screen just enable that it will be playing in full screen theme engine again there are customization custom color skin navigation bar style some of the customizations are available here if you want you can check it out ambient display is also working fine and lock screen again there are some customization you can enable or disable from here buttons again there are some customizations this are the customization if i go into actual settings as you can see dark theme if i go here you can schedule it out based on the location and you can use this pure black then it will be in pitch black condition as you can see the user interface is very very smooth in my opinion this how looks in the dark theme it's cool and it's fast enough let me disable that you can adjust the size and text here as you can see i'll keep little bit higher to make this quick settings panel fill the home the screen 
that's how it is and night light feature also available again there is an intensity and you can even schedule it out colors only three options rotation settings has been given if want you can use that and minimum maximum refresh rate kept to 30 and 120 respectively full screen apps again here also it is made nothing here it's available in the uh, customization settings and you can see here some of the skins have options are available tap to wake tap to sleep both the options are given here wake on plug and ambient display you get lot more options here if want you can customize them per app refresh rate also given for certain app for example the new state you can keep it up to extreme 120 hertz that's how it is and moving into wallpaper sound style again nothing change here it's already shown to you apps again default apps you can choose from here assistant these things you can customize and utilize them and battery as you can see there is a bar this kind of animation has been added here battery usage you can check out here thermal profiles has been given per app you can choose again and battery saver you get extreme battery saver options are also included in this particular ROM battery optimization battery temperature you can see but exactly you can see how much minutes I mean screen on time you can't see from this particular ROM and sound and vibration you can see here all the basic settings are given direct sound enhancer like i5 audio system and headphone type and preset are also given in this room it will enhance your audio experience a lot use them in order to experience a very good quality from 3.5 mm headphone jack also the dual stereo speakers and display and size i already explained this color and motion select to speak talk back accessibility menu which is a handy feature i always explain about this without using the physical buttons and without dragging the notification toggle you just tap this and use this features which is working fine in my opinion that should be implemented in this kind of roms use switch access is given system controls vibration and haptics again you get a certain options you can enable or disable from here security you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock no app lock you need to use any third party app unlock options here let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it is getting unlocked quick here and you get that wobbling effect and let's see the face unlock here as you can see it's also very quick to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock which is very quick in my opinion and now coming to charging animation which is important because without fast charging most of them don't use the custom ROMs let's turn this on You guys can see here it is showing 4.3 volts and 7.1 wattage but it should show higher here let me try to show you as you can see it is not supporting the high wattage charger i don't know why what is the problem behind this i don't know that's the simply missing in this particular rom if it supports i will update in my comment section do check out my comment section in this particular rom and you can see here this is how the rise to it latest version for poco x6 slash nfc if you have any specific questions you can comment down in the comment section i will answer them within 24 hours of uploading this video security features has been done and location google maps everything is working fine in the system you get system profiles again if you want you can add here and updater i don't recommend to flash from this you need to use the recovery the twrp recovery and clean flash it the experience will be a lot more better in my open and coming to gestures one handed mode these things are working fine as you can see and uh, system navigation gesture navigation into that there is option to increase the pill length which is good thing and back gesture height and navigation hint some of the other options has been given here pill length maximum this is the available it's fine no problem regarding that now moving into this kind of scores here like android benchmark you can see here it has 3,54,174 and temperature rise was 1 degree celsius and 3 percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing and geekbench scores are also good not bad as you can see single score 552 and multi score 1631 and linux 4.14.302 .4 lineage OS kernel has been use here and this extreme battery server you get an icon specially in the home screen if you want you can delete that 
and you can even pass the app these options are android 11 from then it is available android 13 has been improved a lot and shift in status you can see it will get passed you can use the applications like google pay phone pay paytm those going to work fine no problem regarding that even whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that fm radio has been pre-included here and uh, drm information you get level one certification such that you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution that's it the internet connectivity is fine i'm using with both mobile internet and even the wi-fi connection in front you can use dual sim cells it might drain a little bit of battery making make it a note about that and uh, the camera here i have installed this arno build gcam which is my favorite for poco x6 nfc all the features are going to work fine in this particular rom no problem regarding that they have implemented this basic camera if you want you can make job done from this one but if you want something advanced you can definitely try the gcam ports lot more available this one is arno build gcam that's it and uh, dialer it's also important thing because people you can see direct video call feature is available making the call isn't getting connected okay what happened okay it was already in the call when disable the call unable to disable it's already ringing but i don't know where it is that's the bug here it's live time bug you can see here there's the boot animation you get in this particular rom actually I rebooted the smartphone because the dialer has an issue here it automatically making call i mean it doesn't show the preview of it but it is in the call i don't know what's the problem here if i make a call you can see even in recent now it is showing if i again want to show you as you can see actually it is in the call but here we not seeing that i will use airplane mode instead of rebooting again and again that's the one bug they need to fix this dialer is very important thing if you want you can use google dialer from the play store and let's see pubg mobile how it handle and wind of this video you guys can see i hope so the graphic settings you can see here smooth plus 90 fs options have been enabled that you need to enable in the miscellaneous settings that i already explained and the loudspeaker stereo speakers are loud enough as you can see i will decrease the volume it's too loud for me the smoothness you will definitely notice in the game it is having 90 fps that edge will be having and no lag as of now it is smooth as you can see on the screen okay i'll come back here and regarding the verdict it's very simple the rom is stable and good enough but there are bugs like the dialer if i dial it out i don't even recognize is it in i mean in a call or not that's the big bug i can say that they need to fix it out and other thing like the charging fast charging support is simply missing in this particular rom hence i don't recommend this because we have a lot more options currently available for pokex yes there are all our unofficial builds even this is also unofficial build but there are a lot more options like evolution x the spark os latest version is also coming and stay tuned to my channel and by the way guys if you're first time to this channel and if you're already a viewer a regular viewer hit that subscribe button guys many people are watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel and smack it out and also allow that bell notification whenever i upload these kind of videos you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like and uh, that's it this is the rise droid for poco xc 
all the things are working fine but regarding this dialer if you want to change it to other dialer then it's okay and the fast charging support is not okay for you then you can look it out but i don't think so anyone misses those two things but that's it this is the rice dread for poco xc we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling baba for now